Okay, so I moved Silver because she was kept trying to lay down in the backyard. So I got her up. We're hooking up the horse trailer right now as a precaution. Found the vet clinic again. And then I said I moved her. But if she continues to try to lay down and roll, which are the classic um, signs for colicking horse, then I will rush her up. Till then, I'm going to sit here and watch her. She's in a bad mood right now. That's fine. This is her being grumpy at everybody. I'm trying to put some gloves on my fingers because it is cold out here. She's perky, which is good. Her ears are forward. The vet said that I can let her lay down, which is fine. She can lay down. But she needs to lay down and stay there like she's napping, not lay there. Get up, lay down, get up. That's when they're uncomfortable, like they can't settle themselves. So they're uncomfortable, so they'll stand up again. Or they'll roll around when they're laying down. So if she wants to lay down, that's fine. She can nap. But she can't keep getting up or rolling. She looks tired to me, which is fine. She can nap. I did take her out of her pen, out of the straw bales, which I just got really worried about her. And I figured if she was in that much pain, she would lay down in here, then I would know for sure, because this is a little bit out of her comfort zone. Hi, Daisy. been about four hours since I gave her meds and they told me she's good for 12 hours on the meds that I gave her. <laughs> she dancing around about. <laughs> I don't know why he was getting all excited there. This is literally what I will be doing for the next little while, just watching her. <clears throat> We've had quite the morning. Oh my gosh. Right from early this morning with Silver doing that. Then I was in and out through the basement door quite a bit and noticed that the hot water tank had exploded water all over the basement. So then I spent, a oh my gosh, about dropped you guys, sorry. <laughs> I think I needed that jump scare for a second. <laughs> uh, it's been a day. Cleaned up water, turned off our water tank, and had um, a technician just stop by a few minutes ago. Our water tank is hooped. But it's a long weekend, so the best he could do is order it today. 
and then on Tuesday <laughs> they can come and replace it. So we're not going to have hot water for the whole weekend. Oh, yeah, it's been a day. Oh gosh, she just looks grouchy. Like she just looks like she's annoyed with being in the arena. <laughs> Today is supposed to be the start of the warmer days. I don't know what the temperature was right now. We just moved the truck around to hook it up, but I didn't check the temperature. But this morning it was minus seven about that. And it's supposed to get to minus two today. And then after going through the weekend into next week, you get into the pluses like plus two, plus three, up to plus eight next week, which will be fantastic because then I can deal with all of this manure because it will defrost and not be frozen rocks to the ground. Then I can do a massive manure clean on this property over the next few days. Well, this is literally going to be me for the next hour, is sitting out here staring at her. But I'm glad moving her over here, she's not laid down, got up, laid down, got up. So I'm happy so far with that. She just looks tired to me. I might go get freckles for her. She really loves freckles and freckles will hang out with her in here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna go do. Okay, anyway, this is how our day is going. Sorry for the jump scare there when I dropped the phone. <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated on how the rest of our day goes. It is Valentine's Day today. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I made a post on Facebook about how Valentine's Day is all about getting your heart beating faster. <laughs> it's like been the story of my day today. Okay, I'm going to walk over, get freckles, bring him over into here so that she has a buddy. And then just watch her for the rest of the day.